The biggest news this week is, of course, the Google I.O. conference with this many new things. And of course, it's mostly about AI, 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 generative AI, 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 AI. It uses AI to bring AI, AI, AI. Whoa, woohoo! Uh, what was it about again? They released Palm 2, which is a large language model that comes in four sizes and is also the backbone of BARD. Gemini, which is a multi-model foundation model that can understand images and explain them with words. Google Search with built-in AI assistant like Bing Search. Google Earth now provides an API called Photorealistic 3D Tiles so people can import real world to literally anything like this guy, combine it with deck.gl to visualize where the Tokyo Metro is in 3D real time. Google Map is on crack now too. You can view your route in 3D. But I doubt you can actually see the cars moving so don't get your hopes up. Gmail, Google Sheets, and a lot of other Google services would now have built-in AI assistance too, making your life much easier. And of course, a lot of other miscellaneous improvements, which you can find in a lot of supercuts online, so I'll not go into much details. Well, it was pretty funny that they used the wrong font for the Japanese kanji and put onto a presentation that was seen by at least 1 million people. It probably was some silly mistake they have made, and for information, these are the slight differences between simplified, traditional, and Japanese fonts. To be completely fair, most people wouldn't even realize it was wrong, but the main complaint was that this wouldn't have been a problem if hand unification was not made in Unicode, because that led to the creation of a single unified set of all Chinese characters, which then gave people chances to render fonts incorrectly. <clears throat> yeah, we're kind of off tangent talking about fonts. But yeah, welcome to my new series where I compile the latest and the hottest AI memes, news, and interesting finds, because we all need a break from reading of the newest GPT-4 replacements or top 10 GPT-4 Chrome extensions that will blow your mind. No. It's just going to be a bunch of really random AI related stuff that I find cool or funny, like this Coca Cola commercial that incorporated AI generative art. They might have used Stable Diffusion because uh, Stable Diffusion Japan tweeted about it. But yeah, it's really impressive because that's one of the first commercial that has AI in it where it just doesn't feel like they are shoving the idea that they use AI generated art in their commercial down your throat. And overall, it's just a really decent and creative commercial while being completely original. If you want to see the whole thing, I'll link it down in the description. And why? While we are all using GPT-4 with our keyboards, this guy is using telepathy to use GPT-4. More specifically, Araya Research has successfully operated Gmail using electroencephalogram by making ChatGPT to interpret brainwaves in order to write mails. While it's not like crazy good, but a world with a brain interface will become a reality much sooner than we thought, thanks to multimodal foundation models. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be pretty realistic for everyone to become like this in 10 years. And people thirsting over the new AI generated Twitter CEO is quite a sight too. This happened because Sir Musk did not announce who's the new Twitter CEO and only hinted it's a she at that time. So this image went viral with a very questionable 9,000 bookmarks, guys. These two faces in the post are even the same too. Claude by Anthropic AI on the other hand has made a 100k token language model which is capable of 75,000 words of context length. It basically takes in three times more than GPT-4 32k token model and is capable of analyzing crazy amount of text data accurately. You can have it to read court hearings, do your reading reflections on the Great Gatsby for you, or finally identify such stuff on a software software's terms of service, but 100k though, that is nuts. I mean, the goal for context length might as well be the entire internet. And yeah, that's it for this week. Hopefully this will be a weekly thing since I'll make it easier to edit so I'll be able to push it quicker for y'all to see. Don't worry, I'll still do my normal videos, but there are just tons of really interesting AI stuff that I want to share with y'all. Let's just end on this new API for Google Earth that was announced during Google I.O. with this person hooking the Google Earth up with Unreal Engine to drive a car on the Tokyo Highway. Pretty cool. And subscribe if you want to see more.